Game one, obviously, is tomorrow. Framber Valdez and World Series winner and grizzled vet Charlie Morton. They will square off in game one. The Braves are plus 110 on the money line. The Astros minus 130. Run total stands at eight. Eric, we start with you. Who's got the early edge? Well, I think my general rule throughout the playoffs has been every playoff game is closer to a coin flip than you probably think they are. Uh, if you need proof of that, look who's the World Series representative for the National League. Uh, no offense to the Braves, they are a fine team, but I think pretty much everybody would have said they were, you know, probably the least talented team in all of the playoffs, and they're here. So I'll take the plus money here. Uh, it's plus 115 for the Braves now. Um, I think Charlie Morton, I like him more than I like Framber Valdez. Uh, he was better down the stretch, 260 ERA in September compared to 394 for Valdez in the final month of the regular season. He's been about half a run better in the playoffs as well. So I think at a plus money, I think I'd probably even take this one at even money. I think it's pretty clear Atlanta given the odds here. Paul, you following that same logic? I absolutely agree with my colleague and teammate. Uh, I like the Braves to get an early edge behind Charlie Morton in the early going of game one. He's been the hotter of the two starters. Eric gave you some of the numbers. I'll give you some more. Uh, that uh, Morton has not allowed more than three one runs in any of his last 10 appearances while holding opponents to a paltry 176 batting average and a whip under one. The strikeout to walk ratio is fantastic as well. And only five homers in 55 last 55 innings that he's worked. Meanwhile, Valda has been a tough uh, roughed up for four runs in four of his last eight starts so a little more inconsistency there and i just think that morton with the experience that he has under his belt uh, is the better play tonight